This sleepy little neighborhood in the Port Norfolk section of Portsmouth has become the center of a major controversy because the Portsmouth City Council has refused to grant a permit to the Hope House Foundation to establish a home for the mentally retarded here at 445 Mount Vernon Avenue. Oh, that's good. That's good. The welcome mat may be out, but retarded adults are not welcome in this neighborhood. We talked to several residents in the Port Norfolk area, and most objected to the home for a variety of reasons. Uh, I don't object to the people. I feel sorry for the poor people, but I do think that a larger place is needed. I think it's, you know, uh, not a good idea to force them on the people out here if they don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want it? No, I have a child that I have to run in the streets. Uh, I'm not too happy with it. How come? Because I have two children that I don't want to raise them. Some are worried retarded residents could run down property values. Yeah, it depends what it does for the neighborhood. There are those who object to the home because it's directly behind a new recreation center. But no one was as blatant as Mary Alice Donovan, who told City Council Monday night the residents of Port Norfolk fought, bled, and died to get that recreation center, and it was not created for retarded people. There are those who are upset by the way their neighbors are acting. I don't think they've had enough insight and understanding into the problem. We wanted to see what the Portsmouth residents were so upset about, so we came to the Hope House residential home here in Norfolk on Colonial Avenue. What we found were residents like Martha Mearing, who was getting ready to leave for her job as a housekeeper and babysitter, and Joe Krinsky and Marvin Pope, who are trying to learn enough skills to move out and into a supervised apartment of their own. I really in, enjoy what I'm doing because someday I hope I go into an apartment and I'm looking forward to that day. Hope House Supervisor Lynn Siegel was still in a state of disbelief. I was very shocked last night. We also found hurt from adults who, although retarded, still want to be productive members of society. I think a person that don't want a group home or mentally retarded adults in the community I think they're much as retarded as, as we are. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.